And the Calgary Police Service also uh, looking at what they're calling one of the largest stolen property seizures in the city's history. $1.5 million worth of retail goods were recovered in four different locations. Camille Karamali joins us now to tell us more about this. So $1.5 million worth of goods, this is extraordinary. That's right, Ian, and $1.5 million is on the lower end of the scale. Police are still tallying up all the goods and what they're worth, and they're saying once that's done, the, the total amount of the goods could be worth up as much to, if not more than $2 million. As for what those goods are, well, let's have a look. You know, you have some of your normal things, things like electronics, TVs, video games, and you also have some things that are a little bit more on the bizarre side of things, things like a tanning bed, and we even saw some arrows, and you even have little knickknacks like shampoos and conditioners and perfume, and police say they were even surprised with the amount of goods they found. Have a listen. It is a significant amount of property, there is no question. You have five sea cans, essentially, and we all know how large they are, full of property, and it is... Uh, astronomical when you start to look at the amount of, of merchandise that was there. So Camille, when you start to look at the amount of merchandise, when you look at the way the merchandise is stored generally, it, it's like it's a wholesale operation for stores to buy from, and in a way, that's kind of what this is. Exactly that, and uh, you know, police are even calling this a growing problem in the city of Calgary. They even have a name for it, calling it organized retail crime. As for how much it's costing retailers in the city, well, police don't quite have a number for that yet, but as for how much it's costing retailers across the country, well, they gave us a number for that. That's $6.4 billion a year. And uh, Calgary has even assigned a special task force uh, to, uh, to combat this. And uh, police say that task force was a big, um, a, a big factor in the bust itself. Well, I think it's really important to understand this is not residential uh, break and enter. This is uh, complete uh, commercial break and enter. Uh, big businesses, uh, some small businesses, and uh, we are, as I said, going through five sea cans of, of property. I have uh, no, uh, located a number of victims already, so we're anticipating the release of that merchandise, uh, and it's been going on since the 26th of January. Now, one person has been charged in this. 28-year-old Cody William Scott, he's been charged with possession of stolen uh, property over $5,000, and he'll appear in court on February 8th. And Ian, uh, you know, he won't be the only one charged. That's what Calgary police are telling us. Uh, they're expecting a bust of uh, this magnitude to have several people involved. I've covered a lot of crime stories before, but I've never heard of anything like this. Really interesting. Thank you very much. You're welcome.